Well, hi class, I'd like to welcome you to the introductory to public speaking class. I want to let you know right off the bat that this class is asynchronous, which means we will never have set mandatory meetings like class meetings that you have to attend throughout the semester. So this class is asynchronous. Everything that you need for the class you will find in your Canvas shell. However, I will conduct a weekly Zoom meeting That'll be every Monday at 2 o'clock, and you are more than welcome to attend. Typically, what I do in those Zoom meetings, I'll give a little recap of the module we just finished, and then I'll give an overview of the module we're getting ready to go into. So if you're available at 2, you want to attend, the Zoom invites can be found on the Canvas module that is marked Zoom recording. Also, I will record each of those meetings and they will be posted in the Zoom recording module. So if you don't make the meetings, that's fine. Again, not mandatory, but you can always have access to that information. Those Zoom recordings will be posted each day on Monday right after I'm done with the Zoom meeting. So that's one thing I want to make sure that you understand. Kind of the nice thing about taking a class online, you can really Kind of work around your schedule a little bit easier. And too, while we're talking about that, you do have due dates for all of the assignments. When you do any kind of assignment where you have to submit something, and with a lot of those assignments, I'll ask you to then three days later reply on the work that your classmates have turned in as well. Whenever you reply, that's always going to be after the due date of the actual assignment. So even though you're replying within the three days after you turn in the actual assignment that you're responding to, don't worry about the late notices. I don't think I don't they won't have any impact on your grade. I just don't like to have to divide the assignment up where you submit it on one and then make comments on the other. So big picture, we're taking the class online. I want you to get your work done. I want you to get your work done in a timely manner. But if stuff's late a couple days, don't worry about it. That's kind of the advantage of taking things online. I will tell you, though, with the public speaking class, you want to make sure that you don't procrastinate, especially when we get to some of the bigger speech assignments that we'll do towards the latter part of the semester. With those assignments, and you'll find the way I have the class set up, you will submit your outlines, your written speech, always a week before you do the actual presentation. And so kind of the key with public speaking, and I'll say this a lot during the semester, you always want to give yourself a week after you've written a speech to practice the speech, to make sure that you've learned the speech so that you can maintain that good eye contact with the audience. And then you'll actually do the presentation a week later. So what you don't want to do is to get into the habit where you submit an outline for a speech the night before you have to do the actual speech presentation that doesn't give you any time to practice. So you want to make sure you stay on schedule. Don't get behind. Don't procrastinate because public speaking is not a good class for procrastination. And one thing that you're going to learn this semester, hey, there's no secret to being a really good public speaker, it all comes down to preparation. And so what I'm really going to emphasize is the more you practice your speech, the better your speech is going to be. I also know that we all struggle with what, what is called speech anxiety, that nervousness that we get before an actual presentation. The best way to control that nervous anxiety is to practice. The more prepared you are, the more confident you feel, the more confident you feel about giving a presentation, the less anxiety you feel when you give that presentation. All right, what I'd like to do next is let's take a look at the Canvas shell and let me show you quickly how easy it is to navigate through Canvas for this course. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the screen. All right, so let's go to the dashboard on Canvas. And now we're going to find our introduction to public speaking class. All right. And then again, got all the sections here. This is 105.29 all the way to 105.33. So we're going to click on our shell. 
and then when it pops up it should go right to the home page which is great that's the first thing that you want to read and so you want to navigate through the home page and then you'll be able to go right to the syllabus so then you'll hit syllabus that'll take you to the syllabus you want to make sure that you read through this got all the content just about everything you need to know for the class and then when you get to the bottom right after the calendar so here this tells you what we're doing each and every week you can see right here on week one that's what we're doing this week and week one all we're doing is the student online learning orientation we really won't get to the specific coursework until week two right here that's when we'll get to an overview of the class and get you started on your first speech assignment but right under the calendar we want to go to the modules we click this right here for the start here module and then that's going to take us to our modules and then to make the class really easy to navigate once you get on the modules you just keep going to the bottom right here to next and essentially you're just going to next your way all the way through the semester everything is in order the only thing I want to draw your attention to on the modules, let's go over here and click on the modules. And so we bring the modules up here. You'll see that week one, that's what you're doing this week. Just all the student online learning orientation for the class. So this is just all this. And I know most of you are pretty familiar with taking classes on Canvas. A lot of you were online in the fall, but if you're new to all this, and even if you're not, it's a good review. You just got all the instructions on how to use Canvas, navigate Canvas. What you really want to pay attention to is down at the end, these three pages right here. This tells you how to upload your videos. You're going to do a lot of videos in class, so you're going to have to get adept at being able to upload your videos. now. You can upload, upload them directly to Canvas. You'll learn how to do that here in the modules. But you'll also find out it's pretty easy to upload your videos to YouTube. I like that because then I can take the video from YouTube and I can upload it to Canvas. But one thing that I really want you to do in this class is when you're uploading videos to embed your videos to the Canvas page. That means that when we click on the video, the video is housed right there on canvas we don't have to go to another link and download it to look at your video so for that first week make sure you really pay attention to these three right here also you want to know how to edit the closed captioning on the videos then we go to week two and when you get to the end of the syllabus and you hit go to modules here that'll take you to the week two that's where we get into the course information for the intro to public speaking and then starting next week, you're going to start right here, and then you just work your way through the modules. The third module, that's where we will house all of the Zoom recordings that I explained earlier. So you don't have to attend the Zoom meetings, but if you want to watch them, here's where they will be housed. Also, too, when you click on one of the Zoom meetings, it'll have all the information for you to be able to easily get to Zoom, all you have to do is click on this link right here. That'll take you right to the Zoom meeting. All right. And then one last thing that I wanted to show you just to kind of clear up what I was talking about as far as uh, submitting assignments and then replying to your classmates work. So let's go down here. All right. To my video discussion. So we're going to click on that. And that video is due on January 28th as you can see there but notice what i asked you to do you're going to upload your video to the discussion page below but then and so that's due on january 28th but then by monday february 1st a few days later i want you to respond for this introductory video i want you to respond to everybody who's in your class a little bit later on when we get to some of the assignments 
and you only have to reply to three of your classmates. You just want to make sure that you get that done by the date for the replies. Now, the assignment is set up so it's due on the 28th. So when you submit those replies after the 28th, it'll say that the assignment is late. But don't worry about that. I don't take that into account. I just didn't want to separate the assignments. Also, too, on the first introductory video, that's where I want you to respond to each of the videos in your entire class. Remember, I've got my class put together so we have five classes altogether. That's over 150 students. So in that case, you don't have to reply to all 150 students, only to the students in your class. And so right here, notice on the week two module, if we go right here to CRN class rosters, that's where you will be able to find out who's specifically in your class. So on that video discussion, you don't have to respond to all 150 videos, even though those will be on the page. You just find the section that you're in. So if you're in section 10529, you only have to respond to the folks that are in your class, right? And you only have to do that two times throughout the semester for the introductory videos. I just want you to see everybody in the class. Part of public speaking and really controlling that anxiety is all about building a strong community. And so when I get you guys responding to each other's work, that really helps to build that community. And you'll find a lot of the comments you get from your students, that's going to help you too. So in this class, just think of all the feedback you're going to get that's really going to help you to grow and improve as a speaker. So we've got all of the specific class rosters listed right here. Okay. All right, class, well, that should do it for our first meeting. The last thing that I would like to say is, I am looking forward to working with each and every one of you this semester. And I promise you this, if you put in the work and the preparation, you're going to be an outstanding speaker and communicator by the end of this semester. And there's no downside to being a better communicator, to being a better speaker. And one of the great things that goes along with taking a class like this, when you're really developing your skill set when it comes to communicating and speaking in public, it does wonders for your confidence. So let's work hard this semester. Let's really try to maximize our full potential so that at the end of the semester, we're all outstanding speakers, we're all outstanding communicators. Now we have a skill that we can use to go out into the world and to truly make a difference. Look forward to working with each and every one of you this semester. I'm out.